bumping. Does everyone, does, it, does everyone know what a bump technique is? Yes. Oh. Ready, set, hit. Ah, hips too high, man. Good, 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 Pete. Keeping her head out, striking. I'm not, am I lunging? As soon as I lunge, where, what? Am I? I was a really, you know, good athlete growing up, and I decided to play football at the College of William and Mary in Virginia. It's a small Division One school in Williamsburg. I just started volunteer coaching at a, at a program on the north side and had kids coming from all over the city, and uh, that really sparked my love and my interest for, for coaching and wanting to give back. Then I also think back to my own life. The people that had the biggest impact on me outside of my family were coaches. Purdue Polytechnic High School was uh, an opportunity for, for kids all over the city that they could come and they could join and they can get a STEM-based education. Just an incredible opportunity. The first football call out that we did, um, I had actually did it in the basement of the school, the Union Building, and there were about 15 or 20 kids that decided to come and there wasn't a whole lot of space. But the first day of practice, it was just me and one other kid. And we went to Walmart and we got some cones and we got some balls and that was like our first workout, was just me and one other kid. Pretty soon, you know, we had about 15 or 20 guys. Some of them, most of them hadn't even played sports at all. Right, and I think it was just an opportunity to be a part of something, to be uh, part of something new. And so from the very early days, all of the players um, had all of their pads and all of their equipment with them all the time. So they'd be riding the bus across the city, the Indigo, with all of their book bags, you know, their pads, their helmets, their shoulder pads, just building every single year, getting more players, getting more experience, getting more, um, more players that have a football background and want to be there to play football. I think it's the biggest difference from where we started until now. My vision for the football program specifically is that we would win a championship inside of 465. Inside of the city, there's been a long drought of bringing a championship back inside the loop. And so I would love to be a part of helping to bring a championship back inside the city because it really does change a community. He's done the things that a lot of the kids that want to play football, he's done the things that they're wanting to do. His personality is, is so big, he fills the room. We have a, a good group of students um, who really play, they try hard, they play hard every day. It's like, you, you don't know with, with Dante, it's like, are we starting over from kind of going back to the basics or are we just gonna get kind of the fiery Dante speech to kind of motivate them to kind of uh, work a little harder. I think it's the passion to see other young men and women succeed, to see and find something in themselves that they didn't know was possible, right? To push them to a place that they probably couldn't have gotten to on their own. And to be that small catalyst, to be that small spark, to be that small uh, role model, you know, for many of our players, father figures in their lives, to be friends. And you'll see us driving across the city, you know, picking a kid up or taking a kid home. And I think that's the, the thing that really fuels us. And a lot of people ask me, um, how will you know if you were successful doing football? And then my answer is usually ask me in 20 years. Every single day, he's he's out there. He's he's on the group chat, motivating kids to get to practice, trying to figure out ride. Just completely relentless and passionate about what he's doing. You can truly choose and be whatever you want to be. So they talk a lot about passion projects, about the ability to uh, not only introduce an idea, but vote on an idea and then implement that project. PPHS really builds a sense of accountability and responsibility in these students that I think it's really hard to replicate in other models. Whatever their passion is, they get to kind of align their interest with that passion and then structure their day around that. And I think that's really critical in this world where there's a lot of information but there's a lot of ambiguity. And I think you have to teach people um, the ability to be accountable and responsible and to take initiative for what they want to do. Football is something that you can continue to be involved in your entire life, whether you're a player, a coach, a, a fan, but you can also be these other things. You don't, that doesn't have to completely control your life. Sports aren't guaranteed. Athletics aren't guaranteed. And if you do have the opportunity, you're in the right environment, you've got the right coaches, you've got the right support. If playing football or basketball or track or tennis or something else is what you want to do at the next level, we have the coaches and people that are able to help you get there.